what's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today it's another Motion Graphics Monday, which means that we're going to be talking about motion graphics, obviously. So uh, today we're going to take a look on how to create bouncy characters in Adobe After Effects. We already have like the bounce position, uh, which will take one object and animate the bounce effect, but now we're going to take a step further and really bounce the individual characters of a text layer. We will need to use an expression, but I will give you everything so you can go ahead and follow along with this tutorial as a beginner. And if you want, we actually prepared a preset which you can reuse on all your text effects uh, in Adobe After Effects. And you can modify every value with a simple value entering uh, menu uh, instead of going into the expressions and change everything there. So I'll link everything together so it's easier to use and you can just apply it to whatever text you have in Adobe after effects and it will give you that effect we also created an essential graphics which means that uh, you can now use this bounce effect in Adobe Premiere Pro which might be handy if you're not the most favorite After Effects user or if you want to use it in combination with your project in Premiere Pro so it's also really fast works perfectly so links will be in the description and without further ado let's uh, jump into the tutorial <laughs> If you enjoy my videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to make sure that you get notified when I upload new videos. Alright, so as you can see, this is what I was working on. We have the essential graphic right here where we can change everything. So let's say we want to change text uh, and change the color maybe to something like this. And there we go. And then we want to play around with the uh, DK. So right here we have 0.0. Five, we can change this for example to 0.1 uh, for the frequency we can go for like 5 and the amplitude 100 uh, so you can go ahead and uh, change everything right here also the size of the text right here you do require to install the later font which is a free font you can find online uh, which will also be included uh, within this pack well a link towards uh, where you can download that so uh, and there you go, so immediately you have your bouncy effect. And of course I'm going to undo that because actually my previous settings were actually uh, perfect in my opinion for this kind of example. So let's do a quick preview. Pretty cool, so this is what we're going to be creating. And as you can see in the beginning we see our text. The simple way to fix that is just by uh, going to your mask tool right here, the rectangle, select your text layer and just simply drag over the top here, right here, and let's uh, preview again. And now your text is actually going to pop up like this, which is pretty cool. Of course, you can go into your mask options and change your mask to something like 10. And there you go, uh, we have our text. Now the text is actually coming from the bottom side. You can also go ahead and revert that so you can actually come from the top and actually bounce it in uh, like so. So in this case, you will have to remodify uh, your mask right here so we can actually bring it down and now we have uh, the other way around so this is uh, how the essential graphic works uh, which means that you can also use this in Adobe Premiere Pro and the preset is actually equally as simple so let's say we have a subscribe now text right here uh, we can just drag it and position it right here and then go to our effects and presets and search for the TC character bounce preset, apply it to our text and boom, you have um, the same effect applied right here, which is pretty cool. Okay, so uh, let's start from scratch. I will delete, well actually I'm not going to be deleting anything. I'm just going to create a new composition because I'm actually still finalizing these templates before this video comes out. Um, but I wanted to make this tutorial right away. So, um, bouncy text, and there we go. We're going to apply, well actually go to our text layer and first I'm going to close my essential graphic. So right here we have a new composition, a full HD comp. Before we continue this video, I would like to present you our website designed for filmmakers and video editors to improve their workflow. We offer templates, presets, high quality pre-made packs, soundscapes, essential graphics and much more. If you don't have time to create something of your own or you just want to speed up your workflow, definitely check out our website with the link in the description below. We will go to the text tool and click right here and just write something, so bouncy text, and there we go. 
Maybe we want to make it a little bit thicker. So I'm going to be using the later font uh, with the black boldness of text right here. Make it a little bit bigger and maybe a little bit closer together. And there we go. So now we have a nice text. We can go to the align tool right here and actually center our text to our composition. So now what we want to do is actually very simple. Click on your text layer, go to animation and go to animate text. Here we will go to the position and click on the position um, animator. And we can actually rename our first animator to bouncy text. And there we go. We can uh, rename by clicking on it and hitting the return key on the keyboard to rename. Next, you want to actually uh, move it down a little bit, just like this, and that's all you have to do. Then we'll go to Add, and then Selector, and add an Expression Tag. Now we will have something like this, uh, looks a little bit weird, but we can go into the Range Selector first, and go to the Advanced tab, and here we want to change a few things so we can make it a little bit smoother, a little bit better looking. So, uh, what we'll be doing here is change the shape to a ramp up which will be a softer ramp up effect. And then for the uh, ease high and low, we will change it to 50%. So we have a little bit more of a soft uh, animation going on. Um, and there we go. So next we wanna go into our expression selector right here, open that up and just open up the, and, uh, and just open up the amount right here. And right here you will already see a kind of expression that's um, already put in. You can delete that so we have an empty uh, room to, to work with and then paste the expression that I will provide with a link in the description You can go ahead and uh, download that um, Text documents so right here. We have our expression We can actually select all of it and copy it and then right here in the amount we want to actually um, I'll click on that and then I just fill that in with that expression So if I will open that up, you will see that we have our expression dialed in here and that will do something like this. So already it works immediately. Um, I already set the settings to be exactly like I like them, but you can go ahead and right here in the delay, for example, you can change that to uh, maybe one or like 0.2, let's say, uh, for the frequency, maybe four, the amplitude, 120, the, uh, the DK, maybe 10, and then you will have something different. So we can change the uh, delay to 0.02, for example. Now it will go a little bit faster. And immediately it looks so organic, as you can see right here. And you can do a lot of fun things with it. You, this is a really cool animation style, in my opinion. Um, goes for whatever. If it's a subscribe, lower thirds on the left side, bottom, or any kind of commercial. It makes your um, scene a little bit more organic, a little bit more fun to watch. Uh, it's kind of a playful uh, kind of effect. I really enjoy working with this bounce effect. So that's why we created the preset. So you can easily go ahead and apply that to your text. It's also completely completely free and the essential graphics also so you can just easily use that in Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so now that we have our bouncy text, what we can do is just simply um, overlap it with a mask here. So we'll go to the beginning and drag a mask just, well actually make sure that you're selecting your text layer which your mask tool will drag over here until we don't see our text and then just increase uh, the feather slightly. So right here, press F on the keyboard maybe something like 25 and there we go pretty cool so it's that simple to create that's it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did give this video a like also subscribe to the channel for more and check out our website we have a bunch to offer for filmmakers motion graphics artists and so on and i'll see you ladies and gentlemen in the next one goodbye <laughs>